Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to composite a moon or planet into the sky of any photo. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see how everything was put together and have some photos to work from if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. Now, this effect typically works best on an image that already has an enhanced type of feel to it. For example, this image has a lot of dynamic range, contrast, and pretty vivid colors that are exaggerated beyond what you would really see in real life. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into our planet image and I'm going to select this and copy it. And this was generated using a plugin called Lunar Cell from Flaming Pear. And then I'm just going to go back into our source image and paste it in. Next I'll just convert it to a smart object and I'm going to resize and move it around until I get it into an area that I think will look realistic when I'm done. And that looks pretty good. Now next we're going to create a layer mask that's going to help us hide our planet behind things like the mountains and the clouds. So for now I'm going to hide this planet layer. And I'm going to make a selection of just these mountains in the foreground. And to do that I'm going to use the quick selection tool, which you can find in the toolbar over here. So I'm just going to click and start dragging to select all of these mountains. And I really only have to do the right side because that's where the planet's going to be. So once I have that selection made, I'm going to right click and choose Refine Edge. And I'm going to add just a little bit of smoothness to my selection. And it looks a little bit soft, so I'm going to increase the contrast to sharpen up those edges just a bit. Next, I'm going to turn my planet layer back on and make sure it's selected. And then I'm going to click the New Layer Mask icon, and that's going to create a layer mask using the selection that we just made. Now obviously this layer mask is backwards, so all you have to do is make sure you have the layer mask selected and press Ctrl I to invert it. Now you'll see a little bit of the edge here that we didn't quite get, but for this image it's not going to matter. In a different image you can always go in and clean that edge up before continuing. Next I'm going to change the blend mode of this planet layer to screen. And you'll already see that it starts looking a lot more realistic. Now I want to create a selection for the clouds so we can hide the planet behind those as well. So I'm going to turn that planet layer back off and select my background layer. And then I'm going to go up to select color range and using this color range tool, first I'm going to click anywhere in the clouds that I want to get started. Then I'm going to switch my eyedropper tool to the add mode and I'm going to click and drag all over my clouds to make sure that I sample all of those colors then I'm just going to hit OK. Next I'm going to switch to the lasso tool by pressing L and right click in my selection and choose refine edge again. And you'll see a lot of this other stuff added to my selection but that's not a really big deal because we're only going to be using it for a layer mask. So I'm going to smooth this selection just a little bit and maybe give it a slight feather just because clouds are kind of fluffy and they're not hard edged. Then I'm going to turn my planet layer back on and select the layer mask. And using the brush tool, I'm going to paint black in my selection. Then I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect that. And you can see that it's hidden the planet behind the clouds. And some of the areas that are semi-transparent, you can still see a little bit of the planet. And you can always go back in and touch up any small areas manually if you want to make your mask a little bit better. Next I'm going to turn our planet into a slightly more crescent shape, so I'm going to make sure I have the layer mask selected. And again, with a black brush, I'm just going to paint just a little bit on the inside here to soften the edge. And since the sun is pretty red in this image, I want to give our planet kind of a red tint. So I'm going to double click on our layer to open the Layer Styles dialog. And I'm going to turn on Color Overlay. Next I'm going to sample a color of the sky here, this orangish red. And then I'm going to set the blend mode to color. Now obviously that's a little too strong, so I'm going to take the opacity down to about, I don't know, 15 or so, and hit OK. Now I want this planet to have a little bigger highlight, so what I'm going to do is duplicate this planet layer by right clicking and choosing Duplicate Layer. And then I'm going to go into this layer mask and turn it into even more of a crescent than our original image. So I'm going to shrink my brush just a little bit and just paint black on the layer mask until I have just the edge. So if I hide our bottom planet layer, you can see that it's just a small edge that I kept. And that just gives it a slightly better highlight on the edge. 
And since that top layer is a little brighter, I want to increase the color overlay opacity to about, I don't know, 35% or so. Lastly, I want to add some atmosphere to this planet. So I'm going to double click the bottom layer again. And this time I'm going to add an outer glow. And I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge. And for the color, I want to use kind of a whitish yellow. So just a slight tint of yellow. And I'm going to increase the size to about 40 pixels and decrease the opacity until you can barely notice it. So around 10%. And that's it. Now you have a nice sci-fi looking sky and you can also use these methods to add anything else into the sky like the moon or the Death Star or whatever else you can think of. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.